Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM Station. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can start designing in NX12 from scratch. I made this tutorial for beginners, so beginners make sure you watch this video till the end because this tutorial is going to be very helpful throughout your journey if you are interested in learning NX12 from starting to advanced users. So make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon like share and comment down below to the comment section and please tell me what you think about this tutorial and what you want uh, in the upcoming tutorials your feedback is very important to me in order to improve the content of this channel so you can also support me you can click on the link given into the description and support me as much as you can to provide you lots of information as I already told you in my previous video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So as you can see here, this is the sketch button. Okay, sketch icon. You can always start with this sketch. Without clicking on this, you will not able to do anything on here. And these are the sketching entities or options available like rectangle line arc circle or supplies etc extrusion holes and lots of other things i will tell you about these uh, options one by one uh, not so fast but i'm gonna teach you step by step mm, not in one video but in lots of other videos as well because i don't want to throw lots of information at once at your head it will make you confusing a lot so for doing this you have to click on this sketch follow this tutorial with me once you click on it it will give you another window like this you don't have to do anything over here because it will give you some other uh, options as well so don't get confused just leave it as on plane without clicking anywhere else you just go and select your plane as you can see when you hover your cursor on a particular plane it will highlight for you so by default it is in the bottom plane or top plane whatever you can say you can select whatever the plane you want once you select it it will highlight in different color and it will also give you information that you have selected some kind of plane it may be anything okay so after you are happy by selecting your plane you can click on ok so it will automatically rotate towards your screens now you will see there are lots of options available to design so you can start with rectangle just a basic uh, object i'm going to show you how to design you can select a rectangle it will give you the three different methods to design or draw a rectangle two point and two other three point and uh, the third one is starting from the center and another one is another tools are starting from wherever you want the origin is not going to be at the center of the rectangle so for starting from the center you can click on it you can select your coordinate system like this it will give you option from where you want to start you can either select sketch origin or origin datum so select second point it will now give you the option here you can see is the width height and angle available for you so what is going to be the width of this object so let's start it is going to be 76 just a random room number hit enter now they will ask you the height so enter 25 25 millimeters now you can see the height and the width is locked now you have to lock lock your angle as well you can lock wherever what, whichever the angle you want so in this case you just leave it as zero degrees now you can see the sketch is created in order to extrude this sketch you have to exit or finish the sketch from here so now you can see your finished sketch and in order to extrude you have to click on extrude or X on your keyboard once you click on it it will give you another window it will ask you to select your select 
curve so these are the curve this is the curve selected okay select the whole sketch so there in order to extrude you have different options available either you can click on this arrow and drag it whatever the height you want or you can go on the negative direction as well like this or you can enter the value right here or you can enter the value here as well for this tutorial I'm gonna leave the extrusion one more thing uh, okay first give the value equals to 40 millimeter so there are options also available reverse your direction you can also reverse your direction as well after um, entering the height or extrusion direction you can also click on this to change the direction of your extruded body once you are done with the extrusion process you can simply click on apply or just click in ok you can also hide your sketch as you can see the blue line at the bottom of this body highlight it and enter on your keyboard Control plus B it will hide the sketch from your design area or drawing area you can click on F7 to activate the rotate feature of this design or in this software to rotate your object wherever you want or simply click on the middle mouse button to rotate it the choice is yours okay so now I'm gonna uh, make a slot in this object rectangular object or how you gonna do this again you have to click on this sketch it will give you some option where you want to do it you can hover your cursor on the surface where you want to uh, draw a new sketch I'm gonna select this surface so after selecting the surface you can click on ok it will do the same thing rotating normal to your view automatically now what I'm gonna do is here is the thing I'm gonna select a line and uh, going to start from its origin and going upwards it will give you the nodes like this as you can see nodes are available to attach to a particular like here vertex in the midpoint wherever you want to start from or end it so after creating a line here as you can see in the green color you can change it to the center line as well or construction line as you can see once you click on the line here is the option convert to reference line so once you click on it it will change it to the reference line okay so I'm gonna draw a rectangular slot so in this uh, situation I'm gonna use two point rectangle click on it start from here now it will again gives you the option that what is going to be the width and the height okay so in the width section enter the value 12 millimeter and uh, in the height you can enter 8 millimeter and click on your screen now as you can see you have width and height adjusted as you can also see that the sketch is moving you want to place it at the center or you can you want this rectangular sketch equally distributed on both the side of the center line in order to do this let me just move it a little bit to this direction just to make clear to you that how it is going to work here is the option under the home screen home uh, home tab you can click on more you can see there is a make symmetric options or make symmetric here in the recent use or you can also see in the sketch constraints make symmetric you can select it now it will give you to other another window pops out which will ask you to select primary objects secondary object and symmetrical center so there this is the 
place where this center line is going to be work so in the primary object you can select whichever the line you want I'm gonna select this one now on the secondary object you can select this now in the center line I'm gonna select this center line if you don't want to draw this center line you can uh, also select your this green vertical arrow or coordinate line you can directly click on it to make it symmetric on both the side this is another method I'm showing you if if this is not the case okay you can after you're satisfied with this situation you can click on ok so let me just show you that what it is look like now you can exit or finish the sketch as you can see here in order to extrude cut this feature you can select this extrude and uh, select your sketch from here under the boolean operation drop down menu select subtract it will highlight the object from which it is going to be subtracting you can again select this arrow to change the direction of the extrude cut feature there are another option the value is if you know the value of the extrude cut how much you want to material to be cut out from the main body you can enter the value or if you don't know the width or the if there is a, another object or body attached to it you can simply click on it and select until next it will automatically uh, snap to the end of this section let me just show you uh, one more time what I am saying here if it is not the case like if your extrude cut feature is just like this big 16 millimeter and uh, you want to extrude cut up to the next level so select until next it will automatically snap to the uh, nearest plane up to which it is going to be cut after you are satisfied with the situation or your configurations click ok it will cut out the thing from your object like this again you can highlight your sketch and enter control plus B to hide your sketch from your body like this now one more thing that you can do is uh, creating hole on these surfaces in order to do that select sketch highlight your surface and then click OK now select your circle and place it wherever you want it it will ask you to enter the diameter you can enter 12 millimeter the good thing is you no longer have to enter the diameter again and again you can simply click like this now you want to place this uh, circle at some position so where you want to place it to do this you have another option available rapid dimensions under the home tab once you click on it it will activate the command of dimensioning to your sketches I'm gonna give the dimension from this edge to the center of this circle this is going to be 11 millimeter like this hit ok and uh, from this edge to the center it is going to be 20 millimeter like this so as you can see I have placed this uh, circle at particular coordinates point so I also want to make this equal to this so here's the symmetric constraint comes in action again without creating center line which is which I used before while I am creating the slot here so I go under the more make symmetric select the center of your circle and center of your another circle under the symmetry center line 
select this green vertical arrow a coordinate line in the y direction click on it it will automatically make symmetric and lock them into their respective position as you can see you no longer able to move this this circle now let me show you that what it looks like in the isometric view now you can exit the sketch click on extrude select your sketch you can change its direction and again you can select until next it will snap to the nearest or the opposite plane now you can click before clicking make sure you still in the under the boolean section you have selected the subtract otherwise it will not do the job which you want like this highlight your sketch enter control plus B now as you can see we have successfully created a simple object one more thing you can make in as you can as you already know that in the real life object nothing is no object should be a pointed edge as you can see here in order to make them around here the blend edge comes in action once you click on it highlight the edge like this and enter the radius of your choice I'm gonna leave it 5 millimeter as it is and click OK now you can see the edges are round and crisp like this so this is the simple component or a simplest command I have used in order to create this simple body so I hope you at least know how to create a simple object inside an X12 just for beginners so hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and if you want more of these kinds of video tutorial in the future let me know into the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so stay tuned for more videos till then you are watching cad cam station signing out for now